Okay, this is uh, take two, August 3rd, 2009. I'll just uh, kind of free associate based on my reading of David Kaiser's uh, book, uh, Drawing Theories Apart. Uh, before strings, there was uh, what was called the analytic S matrix, the bootstrap program uh, associated with mainly Jeffrey Chu at Berkeley. Uh, Chu was a very uh, uh, charismatic, uh, handsome man, looked like Sean Connery kind of looks. Uh, and he um, uh, he he was uh, uh, part of uh, caught in the McCarthy era in Berkeley, and he took a very principled stand for academic freedom, of which he's to be uh, respected. Uh, he uh, lately, uh, well, uh, ten years ago, when interviewed, he's now pretty old. Uh, he uh, said he wasn't really aware of the influence of all the political turmoil happening at Berkeley with Oppenheimer and all that. Uh, on, on his physics, uh, where he advocated a kind of uh, anarchistic nuclear, what he called the nuclear democracy, where all the particles created each other and everything was equal, and he even tried to uh, uh, disestablish what he called the aristocracy of quantum field theory. Uh, this was like in the late 50s uh, through the 60s, but by the 70s, the program failed. Even though the program was more or less considered a, uh, an interesting failure, uh, Free Chuff Copper in his book, Dow of Physics, which I helped to finance at the time, back in 76, really, uh, uh, popularized Chu's ideas, and it became a staple of the New Age consciousness movement. Uh, even uh, Chu and Henry Stapp were on the periphery of our physics consciousness research group at Esalen, and also what uh, Elizabeth Rausch's uh, fundamental physics group at uh, Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory. And so there was all this intermeshing of, uh, of uh, uh, cultural change, a cultural revolution, and, uh, and, uh, th and styles in theoretical physics. Uh, in any case, David Kaiser does a very good, good job about that. When you read Kaiser's uh, book in detail and you see what people commented, uh, you can see that some of the objections against string theory today are the same objections that they raised against the uh, analytic S matrix bootstrap approach of, uh, of the Berkeley group. And uh, uh, also today, a paper came out from Tucson, which, if true, that paper will falsify my idea that the dark energy uh, comes from uh, virtual bosons, zero-point fluctuations, virtual particles of uh, spin one, maybe spin zero, spin two, and uh, where the dark matter comes from virtual fermion-antifermion pairs. Uh, and... Uh, the uh, thing is that uh, in Chu's program, he didn't believe in, in virtual particles at all. There were no zero-point fluctuations, basically. So that's another reason I'd be biased against the analytic S-matrix approach. Which, uh, But the analytic S-matrix approach is also part of Lenny Susskind's uh, treatment of how information is lost through black holes. So these ideas are still very much in the mix and pretty interesting. And as I say, the most exciting development of today is that perhaps my theory has been proved wrong, which is um, better than being not even wrong, which a lot of theories are not even wrong. And that, according to Wolfgang Pally, that's a lot worse. So we'll stop here.